Alan probably surprised me. Um, I, even though he's only two years younger than me, I didn't think Alan would come into engineering. I would have probably picked a different um, career path for him, but uh, he had massive interest in health. Um, when I came up to engineering in the future, he was very interested, in it, especially the biomedical side. I would have gone into common entry engineering where Alan went straight into biomedical. He just, he knew that was for him um, with his health interest um, and his interest in maths as well. I suppose like what stream of engineering you specialise really depends on each person. It's if you're unsure you can go into common entry. But I know a lot of people that finish after your four years, whatever engineering discipline, you can get employment in other engineering disciplines based on your skills, based on your networking. So you're not really pigeonholed or like really constricted to one specific discipline. So I suppose my, my advice would be to any people in secondary school that are interested in engineering, go to engineering your future, speak to people that are currently doing engineering, find out a bit more online and follow your interests really. And if you're still unsure, there's common entry, which David um, went into, which is very beneficial because you get to sample them in a college setting as well. There's all kind of, all the engineering disciplines cover all the possible problems we'd have going forward as a society, and therefore that's the, how important engineers are. I would 100% um, suggest anybody that is interested in engineering to go and complete the Engineering Your Future course. Um, it's a great opportunity to find out what engineering is more like, and I think the most best advice you could give to a student in TY or 50 or leaving cert that's figuring out what they want to do is try as much as you can, get more information, get yourself out there, I suppose partake in a lot of experience, work experience um, and especially courses like or opportunities like engineering your future where you get hands on experience as an engineer, you get more into what an engineer does in a college sense and as Anthony mentioned earlier in a, in a work experience and a work environment setting and you find out more about engineering. And if it's not for you, that's great. You just found out something that isn't for you and you can make decisions based off that going forward. Alan would have encouraged me to go back to college and that's how I would have gone back after dropping out the first time. Um, to come back, it was definitely seeing how much he was enjoying it. Um, and to get a degree for myself, to better myself, you know. Um, and by coming back to third level, I knew that was possible then, but it was through him, really, I got the courage to go back to college. Mm -hmm.